Breckenridge, Colorado is one of the most well-known ski towns in the country. It brings in people from all over the globe looking to hit the powdered covered slopes. But did you know that there are still tons of amazing things to do in the summer and fall in Breckenridge that are totally free? Breckenridge, or just Breck for short, is a ski resort town in Summit County, Colorado that provides year-round activities and is one of the most quintessential Rocky Mountain ski towns in the state. Small historic downtown with lots of shops and good food, year-round rides up and down the mountainside, trolleys to get you anywhere in the town, and of course, the 15-foot tall Breckenridge troll, Isaac Hearthstone. During our day trips to Breck, we found some free activities that we absolutely love. Here are some of our favorites. Stroll down historic Main Street. Breckenridge's Main Street, like the town itself, is steeped in history with many historic buildings dating all the way back from 1859 to 1942. In order to preserve the historical elements of the town, the Breckenridge Historical District was formed in the late 1970s, and as you walk down the Main Street, you'll see many buildings that date back to the Gold Rush days. When we first get to Breck, we like to take a walk down the historic Main Street. It's one of the things that we love most about going to small towns, enjoying a walk down the main street because it really gives you a good sense of how the town feels overall. Visit the Welcome Center. The Welcome Center might seem like a weird place to visit, but really it's a great way to learn about the history of any town. The 4,000 square foot Welcome Center is part information, part hands-on interpretive museum. Here you will find info from everything from dining and shopping and everything happening around the town any time of year. And Breck has things going on all year long, from the Independence Day Parade in early July to the Race of the Santas in December. There is always something fun and free to do in Breck. Ride the Breckenridge Gondola. The Breckenridge Gondola, aka the Breck Connect, is a free gondola ride up and down the mountain. The gondola is a 13 minute trip each way that climbs up an additional 400 feet in elevation. You will travel the distance of about a mile and a half from the departure point at the bottom to the top of the mountain. And depending on the time of year, there may be a small line to get onto the gondola. But you don't have to buy a ticket or get reservations. Just walk up to the gondola entrance and climb into a free cab. And each cab is sized to accommodate 8 passengers, but we found it comfortably seats 4-6 to six people. View Wildlife at Cucumber Gulch Wildlife Preserve On your way up, or down, the Breck Connect, you'll pass over Cucumber Gulch Wildlife Preserve. These protected lands contain 52 acres of lush trees, native grasslands, and wetlands. The grounds are home to bald eagles, moose, mountain lions, elk, beaver, foxes, and the endangered boreal toad, all of which have a protected home here. It's hard to believe that such a natural sanctuary exists within a mile of Breckenridge's main street. Visit Peak 7 or Peak 8. Going up the mountain, the Breck Connect has three stations or onboarding points along the way. It makes a stop at each of these three locations to allow passengers to get on or off. The first stop is Shock Hill, which is for residents and guests only. This is where residents or guests have houses or seasonal vacation homes. The second stop is for Peak 7, which is home to the Grand Lodge Resort and has seven tasty restaurants for grabbing a meal and enjoying the epic mountain views. The last stop is Peak 8 and is by far the most popular reason to take the Breckenridge Gondola. Here at the top, you will find connections to other lifts in the winter months, as well as the Grand Colorado Lodge Ski Resort, and the Ski Hill Grill, which offers classic American food with homemade barbecue, hamburgers, and hot dogs. During the summer, Peak 8 is home to the Epic Discovery Company. For anyone who purchases an Epic Discovery Pass, this area is open daily, typically through Labor Day. Here you will find endless things to do for adventure lovers and especially for kids. Mountain biking via a lift-served mountain trail, alpine slides which include three 2600 foot long slides down the side of the mountain, and you can control your own speed. Scenic rides on the Colorado Super Chair Lift, Gold Runner Coaster which is one of the highest roller coasters in the area, Little Climbers Rope Course, Lil Flyer Zipline, Mini Golf Course, Summit Climbing Wall, and tons more. Riders can stop off at either peak on boarding points and explore on foot. In the winter, the gondola is the main way up and down the mountain for skiers and snowboarders. Take a photo with the Breckenridge Troll. 
The Breckenridge Troll is a 15 foot tall sculpture made out of recycled and scrap wood by Danish artist Thomas Danbo. The Breck Troll is located on the Trollstegen Trail and was given the name Isaac Hearthstone after three local girls visit him and give him a stone shaped like a heart. Thomas installed it as a permanent part of the sculpture and he would forever be known as Isaac Hearthstone, Breckenridge's beloved troll. The hike to see him along the Trollstegen Trail is very easy and great for all skill levels. The path is made up of paved stones and wooden bridges and is always well maintained. The trailhead starts at the parking lot and goes out and back for about half a mile, so if you want to simply visit the Breck Troll, you can do so in about 8-10 to 10 minute walk round trip. Or you can choose to hike the entire one mile loop of the nearby Illinois Gulch Trail, making Isaac just one of the several stops along the way. Walk the Blue River Path just off the main street in Breck is the Blue River Wreck Path, aka the River Walk, which is as it sounds. The Blue River Wreck Path is an 8.8 .8 mile paved path specifically for walking, hiking, or biking. It winds along the Blue River all the way from Frisco to Breckenridge, and you can even take it to Vail Pass via connection trails. During the summer is the best time to take the path, and you can also enjoy gorgeous wildflowers and clear running water. Come autumn, the leaves change color into vibrant yellows and oranges, making the trail one of the best and most scenic fall hikes in Colorado. We personally enjoy following the river walk north from the Welcome Center to Breckenridge Gondola. Where is Breck and how to get there? You'll find Breckenridge along with a handful of other popular ski towns just a quick 90 minute drive from Denver over Loveland Pass. The other popular ski towns of Vail and Beaver Creek are in the nearby area, but none are quite as close or as easy to get to as Breck. So this makes Breckenridge one of the quickest and easiest ski destinations for most of Colorado cities. Proximity to Colorado's Front Range really sets this mountain town apart and makes spending a day in Breckenridge a great destination for an extended stay or a quick day trip. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to show your support. And to get new videos from us every week, be sure to hit that subscribe button.